Welcome to Robot Wars, where the greatest engineering brains have come together to create ever more fiendish ways of smashing lumps out of each other. In the first group battle is Rapid, Jellyfish, Nuts 2 and Terahertz. Our four teams head into battle. Tactics and experience will play a big part in surviving our hazard-packed arena. Three, two, one. I love the smell of the Robot Wars arena in the morning! Oh, and in the media, jellyfish is up in the air! The lowest, smallest robot in the competition in terms of height. The flailing chains of nuts, a three-meter diameter on that fearsome weapon. Jellyfish in trouble. Come on, Jelly. Dave Laurie at the controls with Gemma alongside him. They'll try and clamp and hold on and hold on to their reasoning and hold on to a place in the competition. I'll tell you what, they aren't doing badly to stay. Oh, look at that attack there. Mighty blow from the terahertz, and the little cluster bots are out there as well, belonging to the Nuts team. There we see Rapid in underneath and flipping Jellyfish into the air. Rapid with that incredible flipper. Well armoured too. 15 times more powerful than any other flipper ever built. But where are they in the competition now? In after Nuts, turning. Spinning control problems. Oh, 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 oh. What about this? Oh, Matilda! Don't mess with the rear end of Matilda. Oh, it's a grisly place to be. And that's a doomed place to be. Nuts! Oh, the nutty boys! Out! One robot forlorn and forgotten. Three remain. A little cluster box of nuts. Is still out there, trying to create nuisance value more than anything else. No, no, no more firing, no more firing. That mighty axe of terahertz, the experienced John Reed in there. And here we have terahertz chasing after Rapid. They're leaving Jellyfish alone because they think Jellyfish is immobilised and spinning awkwardly, but going nowhere. This is all about the damage now that terahertz can cause on Rapid, thinking about later in the competition, the planning and tactics here by John Reed. <laughs> Is cool. John has expertly driven terahertz into the next round. He now has two hours in the pits to fix that axe. Our second group battle is between Tomahawk, Aftershock, Cranky and Sabretooth. It's the moment of truth for the teams. All that stands between them and a shot at the title are five hazards, four house robots and three competitors. Three, two... One, Interesting to see how Cranky gets on. Ooh, not very well from the start. Flipped up and over. Hasn't been tested. The wheels could be vulnerable. We see the mighty spinner of Aftershock. And we see very much a robot in peril. Pincered between the two. And Cranky very much in trouble. Look at that 3,500 RPM spinning blade of Aftershock. Now, the attack on the girls from the Netherlands, the Tomahawk T. Let's keep hitting. That is the big rolling blade of Sabre 2. You can launch another machine two metres in the air. We're Aftershock. I have to release the tyre. And this time, the pit of oblivion descends. Look at the damage on Cranky, on the armament there. The Stinks Paradox armament. Oh, wow. <laughs> Immobilised machines, not aftershock. Certainly there, Tomahawk and the Netherlands team. It's all double dutch for them. So the scoreboard looks like this. Aftershock end on the maximum nine points. Both Sabretooth and Terahertz have three points each. But as Sabretooth won their head-to-head, -head, it means they join Aftershock in tonight's final. Three, two, one. Activate. Now, 
has Sabretooth taken too much damage? Oh, and immediately Sabretooth feeling the effect of the aftershock spinning disc. They needed to ride the problems of that spinning disc early on. And they're certainly good disc jockeys in that aftershock team. Because look at Sabretooth. Oh, wonky. All right, steady, steady. Let's wait the wait. They're calm, they're composed, they're patient because they know they can come in for the kill. It was just too much to ask for Sabres. One bridge too far, Killalot toys with them. They've done brilliantly. Spin down, Will. Spin down. No, Spin no, no. down. In case they start up again. Don't come, he'll hit you. No, Bob. that's it. It's been an emotional night for the Aftershock boys, Will and Ian. No, no, don't, Will. We've got a real contender here and an emotional night for Gabriel Esme, Robin Al. Four, three, spin down. Because he was trying to drive Spin it, down. After shot, the Heat winners. It won, and it won well the entirety of the show. It's your winners tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Aftershock. Thank you.